Oh, yeah, family. It's morning time. Welcome to the celebration, morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford. We're here once again to give God our glory, our honor, and our praise, because this right here is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's morning time, family. Let's get into this word and see what the word is saying. Good morning to you, Sister Pam, Instagram and YouTube, the 954. Shout out to my auntie, Miss Barbara Norris, my cousins down there. All the way down to pumping no decks off the one two. Shout out to y'all, man. What's going on, Sister Allison? Good morning to you, bro. Emery, what's happening? I see you on here. Sissy, good morning to you. Mama Rachel, good morning to you. Get into this word, y'all. See what the words say. Oh yeah. Y'all see it. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. My real sissy. Yes, you on the line. Good morning to y'all. Good morning, good morning. Y'all see it right there. Oh, yeah. Praise Yahweh. I humbly yield. Truly my protection. My sword, my shield, shield me as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will feel no evil. Listen, man, good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for being a part of the Morning Motivational Family. Shout out to each and every single one of y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for logging on. If y'all don't mind, hit that share button. Let's get this message out to as many people as possible. I see you on here, Sister Natasha, Deacon Doc, Mother Horton. I see you on here, Mama Lewis. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Listen. Listen, y'all encourage and y'all bless me so much on this morning motivation, man. I was talking to someone, man, on yesterday. And it seemed like I always be talking to somebody, but it just amazes me the amount of people that walk up to me and tell me that they're part of the morning motivational family. It's a lot of people. A lot of people that's in the views, I'm telling you. Like right now, you got to think about it. It's only nine of, it's 10 of us, including me. It says nine people alive and I'm on here. So that's 10. We go back later on in the evening, it's like 150 views. So 130, 100 people besides us come back and, and, and uh, join in on the morning motivation. And man, I'm telling you, every time somebody walk up to me and tell me that, that they one of the viewers, it just touched my heart. So I just say, thank y'all. Y'all really don't know I've been, I'm going through. I'm going through for real, for real, like right now. I'm going through, man. And um, y'all encourage me. So I just want to say thank y'all. This morning, family, we're going to get into this word. We're looking at Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Grab your word, Romans chapter 10, verse 17, man. Shout out to Instagram and YouTube. Shout out to Big John Russ, Sedavia, Little Baby 7. Shout out to my niece, Daisy, Mother and Deacon Robinson. You know I love y'all, man. Uh, the Mayfield family. Shout out to y'all. Every single one of each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for being a part of the family again, man. Once again, y'all, Romans chapter 10. Come on in real quick. Come on in real quick. Big hug to y'all. Big hug to everybody. Yeah. Hey, bro, Emory, that's it. For real, keep going. Just keep going. I don't care if I got to crawl. Boy, keep going. I don't care if I got to baby walk. Keep going. That's the name of the game. Keep going, man. That's the name of the game. Big hug. Oh, y'all, come on in, man. Everybody, come on in. Deanna, you right on time to get this big hug. You, Big Mike, and Michaela. Big hug to all. And my brother, my brother King. Big hug to everybody this morning, man. Everybody, good, big hug to y'all. Come on, y'all, grab your word. Romans chapter 10. We're looking at verse 17. Let us pray. God, our Father, as we come to you this morning, we love you, we thank you, we humbly come in the mighty name of your son, Christ Jesus, to give you praise, honor, and glory. Our prayer this morning request is as we gather in this fashion, that you will bless us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the things that we read, that you allow your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth and revelation. God, we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Romans 10, verse 17. So the word reads, family... The word reads, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Come on, y'all. Read that one more time. The word reads, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing 
by the word of God. May God add a blessing to the reading, the hearer, but most importantly, the doer of his holy word. So we got a two-way street going on right here this morning. Shout out to y'all who still logging on. I see my, my, my brother Chop, Larry Chop. Good morning to you, my brother. God bless your mother Tyson. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Look at it now. When you look at the scripture, it talks about two things. It's talking about hearing, but I want to direct our attention this morning on what we're saying. So we're talking about a two-way street. We're talking about faith comes by hearing, right? If faith comes by hearing, then how then do we receive the faith that we need? So we need to hear the word. Shout out to you, Kiel. I see you logging on this morning. We need to hear the word. So what then are we listening to? Huh? What then are we listening to? If we know our faith on shaky ground, our faith is not as strong as it should be, then what then are we listening to? Are we listening to the word of God? Are we listening to his voice? What are we listening to? And then if we are at a place where we are solid in our word, solid in our foundation, then what are we putting out? What then are we putting out? Are we putting out a sound that when people hear it, they're hearing the word of God in our conversation? Are they seeing the word of God in the way that we live our life? See, I told y'all a long time ago, 2002, I was in the Joseph Conti, uh Correctional Facility right there in Pompano Beach, Florida. And some gentlemen came to the, to, the, to the jail and they was doing the prison service, prison worship service. The name of their ministry was called Jesus Compassionate Ministries. Yeah, you could tell they made an impact on my life because I could go right back like it was yesterday and tell you the brothers came in and they said something that I've been carrying all the way to this day. And what they said was, I would rather see a sermon then hear a sermon. Come on now. I would never, I would rather see a sermon and then hear a sermon. So people are more or less concerned about what you're talking about. They want to see how you live in your life, especially when it comes to this word. So that's why I said it's a two-way street. What are you receiving? What are you listening to? Is what you're listening to bigging you up to a place that your faith is now strong? And then when you get to that place, then what are you putting out? What type of a sound are you putting out so that the people that you encounter, what, what then can they hear from you? Two-way street. What are you listening to? And then what type of sound are you putting out so that others can hear from you? Man, we need your light, bro. Hey, sis, we need your light out here in this world, man. It's people, I know we got it, you know, we got our own situations, but it's people that really need to hear your light. They really need to feel your love. Trust me. I'm, I'm telling you this because I know this because God created you to be a blessing to others. But don't take my word for it, family. Get into the word for yourself. That's Romans chapter 10. This morning we looked at verse 17. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. What are you listening to? And what are you putting out so that others can hear from you? Man, I love y'all. Signing our faith over fear. God over everything. Together, we have made love great again because love never lost its power. It just lost its popularity. And it's been a wrap a long time ago for the foolishness. Right now, we're on reflection, accountability, application, and preparation. We're getting prepared to make the rest of our lives the best of our lives. So I'm signing off, man. Y'all know how we do. Come on in real quick. I'm blessed. Truly blessed. Big hug, y'all. See you another day. God is great and he's worthy to be praised. Make sure you read your word, fam. We jump in the comment box and say, I read my word. I love y'all. This breath of life that he has given to us. Come on, y'all. Let's go. This is the day that the Lord. I love y'all. God bless you. If y'all mind, hit the share button. Get a message out to as many people as possible. Big hug again, man. Catch y'all on the next time. What are you listening to? And what are you putting out? We can't rejoice.